Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network uh, market update. And we're looking at the Dow uh, down just 76 points after earlier in the morning. The futures were down quite a lot more. Very nice action. It looks like it should get to a leg, a leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology uh, above the high of Friday, which is 35,320. Um, if it does that today, that's still leg C and it has another another uh, leg to go to go to D. Very nice action. S&P is uh, just a little lower down in the chart formation, but acting very well. It's now up 90 cents at 4472. Got a way to go to the 4545 high, all time high back in this early September, but acting quite well here. The QQQ is doing nicely up 99 cents at 369.93 has a different chart formation. It's really struggling. It's lagging, but it's still doing very nicely, but it's just lagging. And IWM is just stuck in that sideways move uh, in a rectangle formation. It's down 42 cents. Gold is trying to come back here. Uh, gold is now up three at 1771. It's in play, but within a range. If you look at the dollar, it's still at almost at the recovery highs. It's down two ticks at 93.95. As long as it holds the 9340s or higher areas doing well, but it's crude oil that we're looking at. And I was going to answer a question earlier on that I had. I think crude oil is getting close to some kind of a, a, a leg D in the daily chart, some kind of at least a short term dip. But let me tell you, it's on its way to test that 85's left side high and it's at 8185 right now. So just a sideways move. And I'll deal with that more when I do Tom's show at three o'clock this afternoon. Uh, Tom's, Tom's out and I'm going to be doing the show. So we're looking at the TLT. I didn't even get to that today. TLT is holding OK so that yields are still stuck in the range. So what we're looking at is the Dow. If the Dow after about two o'clock this afternoon, if it's holding just minus 40 or better than that, that's going to be a good sign for uh, later in the week going to to test uh, a, a breakout towards the all time high. And if it suddenly starts to slide deeper and it's down 130 or more, it says, oops, you got to wait. But right now, after the spectacular two days of Thursday and Friday, some digestion needs to be done and it's being done. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesaventa coming up. It's going to be a wonderful show as always. And don't forget, Tommy Jr. starts us off at 9 o'clock every day. Fabulous put together of fundamentals and techniques. Have a great day. Hope to see you this afternoon at 3 o'clock for the Tom O'Brien Show. I'm honored to be the guest host. Say to the TFP.